Let's build a rolled edge hot tub. Structure Studios 101 Pool Studio Blue. Here is one that I have laid out. This is what it looks like. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this interior rolled edge hot tub. Let's change this to a beach setting here so it's nice and bright. And here we go. So this is the Structure Studios method on how to create a rolled edge on a hot tub. So let's get started here. So notice that a standard hot tub is going to be 7 feet ID. Okay. So for your hot tub, a standard is 7, seven feet. 7 by 7 square, 7 feet um, interior for a, a radius. But for a rolled edge in the program when you build it, you need, because this is going to be a 3 inch rolled edge, you're going to have to make your hot tub 7.5 feet. So to do that, use your S shortcut key, and we're going to make this a 7.5 foot ID so that we can make sure that we don't look strange. So 3 foot 9 inches. And that is going to be seven foot six on the ID. So what we're doing, we're just compensating for the three inch rolled edge on either side. So we'll have a true seven feet when we get finished putting this in. So let's put a spillover in on wherever we want it, whatever our position. Always turn the water volume down to one. You don't want it to sound like Niagara Falls when you turn it on for your presentation settings. So for this one, we're just going to do a regular old spillover. And I'm going to make it this length. I'm going to turn my water flow down a little bit. <clears throat> Here we go. So let's do, we're going to raise this up 12 inches above the pool beam. And there we have it. You can see it's a little bit larger than a regular hot tub. So when you, if you get some kind of weird line like this, just kind of readjust your hot tub and that'll go away. So let's change this coping material here, and then we'll uh, we'll get into it. All right. So there's our coping material. Let's go ahead and change our faces here. And let's change this. And there we go. So you see, it's a little bit larger, but that's okay. Uh, for visual purposes, once you get the steps and benches in, then it'll it'll work out. So in steps and benches. Click the auto pull steps and then just manually drop in. This is going to be very simple. There you go. So just manually rotate it around your hot tub. Your depth is going to be below. So we're going to go ahead and raise this up. And now you're going to see this Z fighting in Structure Studios. It used to not do this until the update, but now it does. So now you have to compensate for it. So I usually will just drop this down like a point one, and then that'll take it away. But there'll be like a little eighth inch, um, like a vertical displacement on there. But it's, it is what it is. There's nothing you can do about it. So let's copy over some tile material. Let's change this or change this. And double click and then double click again and then add this. So as you can see the radius is only a one inch. Oh, we gotta put that back. <clears throat> so we're gonna set this at three inches. So it'll be more like this here. So we'll go ahead and set this. Double click again. Oh, let's go to materials and change this so you can kind of see what it does. There we go. And you can set this at three or four inches. Um, I like three. I mean it is a good is a good size. Double click, double click, paste your material, and there you have it. That is a roll beam in Structure Studios. Um, the quickest, easiest way to do this. So now what I do to hide that edge is I make these uh, little end caps in custom shapes with a three inch um, round over. And let's show you what this profile looks like in 2D edit. Here's their 16 font again. You got to change it every single time. It's just stupid. I hate it. So this is kind of the shape that I have um, 
for my end caps. And you can save this piece because it'll always be the same if you have a 12 inch coping. You can save it to your uh, custom library. So what I do is I'll just reorient and then here's your L with your relative angle or world angle. So turn that off with a K shortcut key so you can freely adjust this thing. Get on top and then you just line it up as best you possibly can. Don't worry about that flicker. We'll fix that in a little bit. See, and it just finishes it off and it hides that steps, that auto steps round edge thing that you have going on in Structure Studios. That small, nobody's really going to notice it. Um, but this way right here, it just makes a cleaner look. Um, and when we build, we usually put end caps like this on anyway. So um, it, just, it just finishes it off really nice and hides it. So there you go. So nice and finished. And... So I'm going to adjust this one right here. Again, W shortcut key to rotate. Turn off that relative or world angle with a K shortcut key so you can freely move that thing. And then that's going to be about as good as you can get with this method. But it's nice and clean. It looks really nice. So back in steps and benches, you have this area right here that you're going to have this notch. So I'm going to adjust this a little bit more so I can maybe hide a little more of that round over. And then you have, see this notch here? We're gonna fix that. So, let's see what we got. Here we go, so let's fix this. And also, this does not add a waterline tile, so just keep that in mind, it's just not gonna add it. Um, it's something that I've advocated for, and I will put it in again uh, to see if we can get that added in this feature. And again, you can change this material. It does not add the coping to it so your tile is going to be a little skewed so here we're just going to go back in your auto pull steps and then put a filler in and then adjust it down to fit now watch this so we're going to adjust this uh, the depth of it to get down to where it's flush with the top of that tile now you're going to have to go into half inch increments here so you don't have this weird uh see it's a little, little vertical displacement so <clears throat> all right you can either do a half inch or a quarter inch um, just whatever whatever works and whatever makes it flush depending on you know the height of your your hot tub there so there we go now that's done see and it's nice and smooth now so all we got to do is go back in click our uh, tile material that we're going to apply double click double click again the top control V for paste and there we have it nice and finished and everything's nice and smooth it looks great it just doesn't have a waterline tile, but that's okay. The reflection will kind of make up for that, you know, in the visual. Um, let's rotate this material around since it's an offset tile. Yeah, it looks a little better. It is what it is, uh, but you get the idea. So here it is, nice and clean, uh, rolled edge. It's a pretty simple process. Um, it's just it just takes a few pieces to do just like everything else in every 3d modeling program that that we do you you have to build it it's a puzzle you just have to put it together nothing is one click there's this this one click notion that you know you can just one click something and it's going to do everything for you is not accurate at all you have to build this you control each line each object each item uh, when you're building in 3d so it is what you make it so that's that's what you uh, you have to remember here so what i'm doing here is i'm finding my center point so i'm going to pop me a line here i'm going to delete that because my steps will snap to that since i did that in uh, spas and water features so now i'm going to turn my relative or world angle on with the l shortcut key and pop a straight line right down the center here because this is going to be my first step so back in steps and benches, you notice that we did this offset here. So the, the spot wall is actually back here, not the blue line in interior. Now, uh, because you're just tricking, you're tricking the program basically is what you're doing. So what I do is I'll just get up um, back on this back line, which is the actual spot line, and to make my first step. And because you want it to, because that is seven feet, ID inside that blue line. So I, I don't, whatever depths you make your steps and benches, we're going to do this one 16 inches, and I'm going to make a guideline here so I know where to stop. And here's our font issue again. This is just awful. 
So here's our 16 inch. So I'm going to come back here somewhere and I'm just going to drag K to turn off that uh, the relative angle and then drag it back around to the actual spa wall so it snaps. And auto complete, just hit enter once you see the blue dash line. So here I'm going to offset with the D shortcut key. And I'm going to make this a, a, a tiered bench, so a high side and low side. So we're going to go here, and this could be whatever you want. You can do your steps and benches however you want to do it. And I'm going to go to the spa wall, and then it'll autocomplete, enter. And I'm going to set this side at a depth of uh, 18 inches. And again, it's just whatever you do out in the field. Some people like it 16, some people like it 18, whatever. It's just this is just a method. So if you notice that it linked to the pool because it crossed the pool beam, so all you got to do is just link it, click the steps and benches, link to spa, and then click that outside wall of the hot tub. So again, D outline tool, I'm going to find my point here, and what I'm doing is I'm looking at the other side where my radius is. So I'm going to stop it there. D outline tool, click, click, D outline tool, click, D outline tool, auto complete, enter. And then we're going to set this one at uh, one foot nine inches so now you see so this is why I always do my step uh, my steps and benches were always manual because I can I can control it because it's a 3d program and I want them to look a certain way this is the way that I would build them in the field I like a high side and low side um, but they can be whatever you want they can be whatever you want um, this is what I like but this is it roll beam hot tub with custom steps and benches um, very simple to do. I know this video is a little bit longer, but this is the method that you use. Uh, once you do a couple of them, then it'll be a seamless, easy process, guys. So if you have any questions, post up and be creative.